Hello, and welcome back to the channel. This is DJ's Colorful Escape, and today I'm going to share with you a fairly good size haul. Um, my desk looks like quite a bit of a mess at the moment due to all the items that I have received recently. Um, most of which was bought for me by my boyfriend, and... I also have something that was bought for me by my daughter, but we will get into all of that. Let me clear my desk and we will get started. Okay, sorry about that. So the first item, this was bought for me by my daughter. We, or sorry, she got this for me from Hobby Lobby. And it is, let's bring this down just a bit. It is the Dragonfly Glaze. It's a color changing top coat, acrylic gloss finish in the full spectrum shift. This would be awesome on anything that would be clear but sparkly. Um, fairy wings, glass, anything like that. Anything you want sh sparkly. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> let me show you the little swatch that I did. Now, this is not over top of any kind of pencil or other paint or anything like that. It would look a lot different, um, probably laid over top of something else. This is just on this index card. Um, I hope that you can see that. I really don't know if you can, but when I turn it... There is a full rainbow shift there that is sparkly. Um, I'm hoping that that's picking up on camera. Um, if not, I apologize. But I love this stuff. It comes in the full spectrum shift and then it also comes in a few other colors that are like two or three different colors combined eventually I will probably try to get those as well but for this I'm going to use this on things like dragonfly wings fairy wings butterfly wings um, glass objects um, and probably a lot of other things but we're gonna have we're gonna play around with this on the channel and see what all that we can do with it so, next, um, recently, I had a video pop up in my feed, oops, sorry about that, I'm throwing things around, but I had a video pop up in my feed that was a, an older video by someone that I watch and I love watching. Um, which is uh, Simple Art for Adults. And she was blending crayons with baby oil, Vaseline, and odorless mineral spirits. So, I picked up the 120 pack of Crayola crayons. I also got the... 24 pack of glitter, the 24 pack of confetti, which I am in love with, and the 32 pack of the colors of the world. I wanted the um, pearl set. Haven't been able to find those yet, but I will find them, and when I do, I will be buying those as well. Um, <clears throat> but to use with these, because I do have a young child in the home. He's six. Um, I don't really like to have toxic items or things that could be toxic in the home. So instead of getting something like odorless mineral spirits or Gamzol, I decided to try my luck with Vaseline. So I got a small thing of Vaseline. I also picked up this jar of organic coconut oil because a friend of mine, Renee, from my coloring corner with Renee, 
told me that coconut oil could also be used to blend crayons and certain pencils as well. So we're going to have a play with, with this. And I'm also probably going to pick up some baby oil really soon. And we'll try that as well. Um, that's for future videos. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Um, I also was looking on Amazon for some more brushes. So I found this set that came with two blush type brushes. Um, these I'll be using for wiping the dust away when I'm coloring, you know, whatever dust that will, the uh, color pencils leave behind. And the thing that intrigued me the most was it came with these two brushes here that are like the silicone pads like I got from the Dollar Tree if you saw that video I picked these up from the Dollar Tree and I'm wanting to try to use these with my different inks and gel crayons and different things like that to see what I can do with those and um, so when I saw these that are in the brush form with the wand um, or handle whatever you want to call it um, it really intrigued me so I'm going to be giving these a try as well we'll play around with that on the channel too um, and then in Walmart I was in Walmart and which is what Walmart's where I got the Crayola crayons the coconut oil and the um, Vaseline. I got the brushes from Amazon. Now, also in Walmart, I found these Art Skills glitter paint sticks. These remind me of the. If I can figure out where I opened them at. Um, these remind me of like the gel crayons or you know gelato or something similar to that well okay let me get my scissors just a second sorry guys thought I opened these already maybe I didn't okay so we will be trying these out as well. Oops, upside down. So with these, you pull the top off and twist it up just like the King Art or any of the other stuff like that. So, But these are glitter, so we are going to be giving these a try and we're going to see how well they do. Um... They say that they are smudge free in 10 seconds. So supposedly within 10 seconds of applying them to the paper or whatever surface you're going to apply them to, um, they will become smudge free. So we will test all that out. It says that they're great for posters, art projects, crafts, and more. Um, it says that they're great for creating posters, large projects, and more apply sparkling colors and bold brilliant strokes so i'm not sure if these are actually water soluble or not but we will play and we will find out so that is those these here at walmart i believe these were less than four dollars for a pack of these and they also had a um what is the word I'm looking for? Primary, like a primary set of like your basic primary colors, as well as the glitter set. But I only picked up the glitter. Um, and then I also found in Walmart, the set of Sargent Art watercolor crayons. It's a set of 12 watercolor crayons. And it comes with a brush. So you just 
I already took the plastic off. You slide this up. Now, one of mine, as you can see, was broken, but that's okay. I'm still going to give them a shot. I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to take them back because of that. It's not that big of a deal. This piece could be used as well as the piece it broke broke away from. Um, but as you can see, they say Surgeon Art Watercolor Crayon. There is no color name or number on them. Um, but that's fine too. Um, these remind me more of like your Neo Color 2s. And this I found at Walmart for just under $4, I believe. Or wait, no, I'm sorry. That's wrong. <laughs> I was thinking of the other set. Um, these were, I think, around $8, give or take, for 12 colors. But your Neo Color 2s are definitely way, way, way more expensive, of course. Um... But we will play with these on the channel as well and see how good they are or are not. I have not played with them yet. And as you can see, they do come with they do come with a brush. And we'll test out this brush with these as well as a water a typical water brush. Um but yeah, so that's the Sergeant Art watercolor crayon 12 pack. Whoops. Sorry about that. And these labels they put on them <clears throat> are definitely loose and sliding off, which isn't too big of a deal when you go to have to sharpen them or you get down past the point of the tip. You know, that's probably useful. That is easy to get that off. But, um, but yeah, we, we'll play with them. We'll see what they're worth, if they're worth, um, having. And then I got the Fabric Castell 15 Colored Eco Pencil Set. This also came from Walmart. It comes with 12 of your regular Eco Pencils and three double-ended skin tone pencils. It says six blendable skin tones and these are definitely blendable i have been playing with these um and these these do seem to me to be good pencils um i want to show you real quick what these look like don't think i want to use a yellow though let's grab the red now hopefully you'll be able to see this it says Fabric Castell right here. Um, well, I apologize. It says the color name right here. So these actually do have a color name on them. Um, it says it in three different languages. They are um, hexagonal shaped pencils. But these do lay down well. They do blend well. Um, I do like them. And these were less than $4. These were $3 and something. I'm not exactly sure how much. But they were less than 4 at Walmart. Um, and now the three blendable double-ended pencils. These are round barreled. And they don't have color names, but they do have a number on each end. I don't know if you can see it on the lighter colored end, but hopefully you can at least see it on the darker shade there. This is T2 and T1. And these do blend really well. And we will play with these on the channel as well. We're going to be doing a lot of... Um, your more budget friendly items on the channel in future videos and then my boyfriend picked me these up at Walmart this is um, 
a 19 piece watercolor artist color flip kit travel watercolor set and what this is you take it out and it comes with a water brush a refillable water brush with a decent tip um, it has this pad here to clean your brush while you're using it and then all of the colors are shown on here and they they um, pull out like this so that you can access whichever color you choose and then when you're done you just push them back in this set here is really good for anyone who loves to do wa watercolor and wants a set that they can take along with them um, very good little travel little compact travel kit for watercolor I really like this now I haven't actually I mean I like the design of it I haven't actually played with the colors yet we're gonna do that in another video we will play with all the different colors and see how they do and how they look um, but this is from Royal and Lane Nickel and I think this set was about ten dollars um, at Walmart it says it is highly pigmented vibrant watercolors pink trays pivot out for easy access to all colors at once portable and easy to use use the detachable sponge to remove excess pigment or water so the sponge does come off watercolors dry quickly in in the pan for quick cleanup colors are transparent and blend easily includes 18 colors a sponge a mixing tray and a water brush so i think that's a very good set but we will play and we'll see how vibrant and pigmented the inks are on the channel and then he also picked me up this foil confetti that um i'm going to try to use on backgrounds or different things like that i just have to decide on what um type of adhesive i plan on using or like mod podge or anything like that um if you have any experience with this please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you use to adhere this to your pages but yeah that's that it comes in 12 colors and I think they are very pretty and some of them are holographic and some are just like the shiny metallic looking okay and next I picked up this um, set of jelly roll metallic gel pens there are 10 pens in the set these are all the colors. I have not even opened this, as you can see. I was waiting to do the video for you all before I did. So we can open these real quick. Sorry about the noise. Um, we will open these really quick. And maybe I can swatch at least a couple of them, if not all of them, while we're on camera. And we can see what these will look like. Okay, let me grab a postcard, or index card, sorry. Okay, this is a purple color, it looks like. Very pretty. Sparkly, somewhat. I don't know how well you can see that. Very shiny. Okay. Silver. 
blue. Oh, that is a really pretty blue. Get a couple of greens. Sorry about that. Another pink. And some gold. Looking. This one I think is more of a bronze. I think these last two are the same. We'll swatch them and see. Yeah, I believe those are the exact same color. Um, yes, these don't have color names on them, but if you can see that, they do have numbers and the last three digits seem to correlate to the color because these two have the exact same last three digits and this one is different so these right here are the colors they are very shiny I'm hoping that that's picking up on the camera so these will be really fun to use to accent pages with. Can't wait to do that. Okay, and then everything else that I have came from Amazon. So, next I got the 48 set of Mark Art. See me back out here. Mark Art colored pencils. I've heard really good things about these, so I decided to pick up pick them up. They come in this cardboard box, and then inside the cardboard box is this beautiful tin. It has the swatches on here of all 48 colors, and then on the inside, which I've already taken my pencils out and put them in a case. Um, Inside is also a little bit bigger swatch of the 48 different colors that you get. Um, and I will be reviewing these on my channel. Um, and the, la the last thing other than the books that I received was this 200 slot pencil case. And this I have put the mark art colored pencils into these pencils are very very nice very pretty on one side if you can see this let me see here okay they say made in China expert and then it has an N and the color number and then on the other side, it says painting colored pencil M8606 Mark Art. And this right here is the same on every pencil. So the number on the opposite side is your number that correlates to the color. But they have a very nice thick barrel. And they color very nicely from what I have been able to tell. I have swatched these out and I have done one very small coloring with them. Um, I will be reviewing these on the channel and showing you the swatch chart and showing you um, what I already colored with them and doing another small coloring on the channel. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Okay, and then lastly are the books. Now, I do still have one book that was supposed to arrive today that did not. Um, it said it was delivered. However, it wasn't. So, we'll see if and when that shows up. If it does, I will probably do another video for that. Well, I will definitely do a flip through of it. Um, 
just like I'm going to do a flip through of maybe not all of these, but most of these. And if you see any of these that you would like to see a flip through of, just let me know down in the comments and I would be more than happy to do that for you. Um, but the first book here is Creative Haven Butterflies Flights of Fancy. My boyfriend picked this up for me at Walmart. Um, it has some very lovely images in this book. Some are really detailed, some not as detailed, but I think these are gorgeous, and I cannot wait to get started in this book. And with all the flowers and the butterflies, I also think this would be a perfect springtime book as well. And this image right here is my favorite one out of the entire book. Um, yeah, so that's Butterflies, Flights of Fancy Coloring Book by Marjorie Sarnet from Creative Haven. Oops, down again. Okay, and then I know this is old and we're way past Christmas at this point, but every time I go into my local Joann's, I have seen this issue there. And so the last time I went, I went ahead and picked it up before it disappeared. There was like two copies left and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it. The images in this book are beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. So I did. <laughs> I'm sure you have all seen this already. It has images by Hannah Lynn. And um, I'm not sure if that's Leeringless Art. Ruth Sanderson. And um, of course, oh, well, that's. Rosie, so I'm not sure how to say that. I'm sorry. Um, Mariola Budek, of course. So these, and these are just very gorgeous. And I, I will be coloring in this next Christmas for sure. So there's that one. And then I picked up Dainty Damsels Fairy Collection coloring book by J.N. Sheets. Oh, and all of these books, except for the Creative Haven, come from Amazon. So, these are on Create Space paper. Um, they're single-sided images. I think they're very pretty, and I will do more in-depth flip-throughs of some of these. Like I said, if there's anything that you see that you would like an in-depth flip-through of, that I have not done one for, just leave me a comment below and I would be more than happy to do that. This is Dainty Damsel Spring Collection by JN Sheets. I think these are gorgeous and there's a couple really good ones in here for Easter. Okay, we have Dainty Damsels Halloween Collection 2019 by Jane Sheets. Now, I know it's not anywhere near Halloween, but I'm a huge Halloween nut. And I like coloring Halloween images all year long. Um, but also, there are a lot of them, like this one per se, that are not exclusively Halloween. Like, this would work all year long. And um, there's quite a few in here that would. So... But these images are really, really cute. I just love these books. They're so cute. And I can't wait to get started in them. And we will be coloring in some of these on the channel as well. Okay. And then I got two books from... Two more from Coco Wyo. Um, this one is Midnight Forest Coloring Book by Coco Wyo. This one is really, really cute. Um, it has all black backgrounds for everything, as you can see, and really cute scenery and animals, very cute, I love this book, and the Coco Wild books are so reasonably priced, and they have such beautiful images, I highly recommend these books. The next one is the Easter Coloring Book for Adults from Coco Wyo. Sorry about that. Um, and this one has a lot more images than most of the other books I have.
from Cocoyo. I think this one may have 50 images. I'm not sure. Um, the others are more like about 25, maybe 30. Um, but these are really, really nice Easter spring images. Um, if you're looking for anything for this upcoming Easter season, this would be a great a great one to pick up. I highly recommend it. And I will do a full flip through of this on the channel as well. Okay. And then my boyfriend picked up for me a couple that had been on my wish list for a while. Um, coloring Fantasy. Sorry about that. They're backwards. Coloring Fantasy 1 and 2 by Scott Howden. These are absolutely gorgeous books. I love the artwork in these books. These are just stunning. And I cannot wait to get started in these. This is volume two. Again by Scott Howden. Absolutely gorgeous. This one here is one of my favorites in this book. Can't wait to do that one. And we will do, again, we will do some of this on the channel. And I will do complete flip-throughs, even though a lot of you have probably already seen these books and may even own them already. Um, and so, just for anyone who maybe has not discovered these yet. Um, but yeah, that is everything I have to show you all for today. I hope that... You all have enjoyed this, and I thank you very much for watching, and um, please leave me a comment below, um, letting me know what was your favorite item that you saw today, or if you have any of the same items, let me know that, or if there's anything you'd like to see a color along from, or a flip through of, or anything else. Be sure and leave that down in the comments below. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit like and leave me leave me a comment. Um, I love to hear from you all and I love to be able to respond to you all. And please stay tuned for upcoming background videos as well as more parts to my collar along that I have been doing from Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans because I have not forgot about that even though it has been a little bit since the last video. Um, I will be putting up another part to that very, very soon. And yeah, so I thank you again. I thank you for watching. I thank you to those of you who have who have subscribed and to anyone who may subscribe in the future um thank you <laughs> until next time guys stay safe and happy coloring bye